Hey everybody, welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at a great WordPress theme for podcasters. It's new on the market. Well, this style of Generate Press is new. It's by Generate Press, and you can find it under their site library. It's called Stream. We're going to take a look at it right here and preview it. Beautifully bold design. I love the call to actions, and I just want to talk about some of the, the key reasons why I like it. I think three or four reasons why I really like this theme. Uh, Generate Press, there's a free component, uh, but these site libraries, this stream theme, it is part of their paid premium product. Uh, premium product runs uh, the price of $49 uh, to get access to not only all of the features of Generate Press, but the theme that we're going to take a look at today. I already have it set up on my site, so let's just go through and talk about some of the key features, why I think this is a great theme for new podcasters, um, starting with the design. I love the bold design. I love the clear, concise call to actions. Uh, I love the text. It's very readable. Uh, the layout of their homepage, again, is perfect for those of you that are looking to grow an audience with a podcast and really take it a step further, especially if you have a dedicated website to just your podcast. We'll start from the top. Nice, clear call to action section, the big hero section, uh, the secondary call to action, which we'll get to in a moment. You can feature podcasts very easily on the homepage and other blog content articles. Um, social proof and testimonials and reviews, very important uh, for podcasters. So you can set that up nice and cleanly on the homepage. Uh, a sponsorship call to action, which is again, forward thinking for other call to action areas. And of course, a nice clean footer uh, and if you're like, if you like this kind of design, if this works with your brand, then thumbs up. This is going to be a great theme right out of the box. Do you need to customize it? Generate Press does make that fairly easy. And that's the second thing that I really like about this theme and why I recommend it is because Generate Press is a great theme all around for WordPress. Super fast, super efficient, great code. And for $49, it's not a huge investment for what you can do with a theme like this. So that's reason number two. Uh, I just love the code quality from a WordPress uh, person. Next up, number three, it's the call to actions. You've seen some of them so far uh, that I talked about. Uh, I love the fact that They've styled, and these are just some of these things are just little touches, but they make a huge difference. They separate themselves from other themes that are out there. Uh, the subscribe button up top, fantastic uh, that we have a uniquely styled subscribe call to action right in our primary navigation. Thumbs up. We'll take a look at what that looks like in a moment. We have the don't miss one single podcast call to action right after our primary hero section, and it integrates with. Um, any kind of email capturing plugin, they do pack one in there for you that works directly with MailChimp. And that's huge. Like when people talk to me all the time, I'm trying to grow an audience. I, I need to get more downloads. I need to sell more products. Well, you can't do that quickly right through audio files, right? People aren't going to buy immediately. But if you can get them on an email list, you can track the growth of your podcast. You can find out the true fan, the true awareness um, of your podcast, and you can email directly and sell items, talk about events that you're going to be at, promote other things, that kind of thing. So I love that uh, call to action. And of course, they have another one that's sort of styled for sponsors at the bottom. It could be repurposed for anything you want. But let's go and take a look at that subscribe page. Um, this might be reason three and a half. <laughs> um, I love the fact that they have styled and designed a nice, simple subscribe page. So if you listen to me on the audience podcast, casos.com slash subscribe to get the audience podcast, it's a page like this. I may or may not have talked to the designers of this theme before they designed it. Um, a nice subscribe page that you can say verbally as a verbal call to action throughout your podcast is another great way to really... Uh, measure the effectiveness of your call to actions and your podcast. So you can do a little quick blurb about, you know, joining this list, joining this community, whatever it is that you're uh, linking to on this page. You can, again, use the email uh, subscribing call to action feature that they have. And then nice, clear, concise uh, buttons on where people can subscribe to you on the web. Uh, again, like I think that is very crucial to anybody uh, who's growing a uh, WordPress site uh, or podcast uh, around a brand, merchandise, an organization, or something like that. So lastly, 
and this is much more in the weeds of, of WordPress and getting a little bit more technical. But I'm going to show you the back end just super quick. Um, if you're using this theme with Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin, which is the plugin that we have for podcasters using our service and with WordPress, you can see I have all of these episodes in here. And they all use what's known as a custom post type. And they all load as domain.com slash podcast slash your episode. And I can make this work with this theme very, very easily. So if I go to episodes, you'll see all of those episodes that I just showed you in the back are all right here under the episodes section. Now, I don't have featured images here. They probably look a little bit better if I use featured images. But with inside, whoops, with, uh, inside the settings... When you first install this theme, you can install it with all of the starter content, just the way the demo site looks. And it installs this plugin called WP Show Posts, and it's all configured for the home page and that podcast page. If I edit the podcast episodes page, the only thing I have to change as a seriously simple podcasting plugin user is the post type, switch it to podcast. By default, it's set to post. I'll just show you what that looks like. This is just the way it comes out of the box. It's just, here's all the posts on the um, episodes page. But if I just change this to podcast, update, refresh, there's all of our podcast episodes. So again, if you're using Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin uh, with our podcast hosting at Castos, where you're just hosting uh, your podcast out of your WordPress site, Seriously Simple Podcasting works great with this plugin. And the other thing I did, just to show you, is when I go into an episode, single episode, I have changed the color of our player. Just a little touch. This is just a little, a little touch right here. I've changed it to the same color bluish green that this theme uses so that the player loads and it looks very similar. It looks very um, on brand with the rest of this theme. So... Just trying to show you that nice touch. The player looks great. The player is just clear, concise. With a bunch of content on this page, you're not going to miss where the player is. In fact, it loads at the top, so you're always going to see it. Uh, but it just looks good with this theme. Like the modern boldness, the color scheme, everything looks good. That's four, three and a half, four reasons why I love the stream theme by Generate Press. Again, $49 for the whole kit and caboodle at Generate Press. Well worth it. It's a great theme, especially if you're just starting out. They have great support, and I can really recommend them for a WordPress podcaster's theme. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Let us know in the comments what questions you have about picking a great WordPress theme. A uh, little secret, since, you're, since you've stuck around, uh, we do have a cool integration coming with a very popular page builder very soon so you'll be able to even uh, to make your podcast pages on wordpress even easier even better better looking all of this stuff coming soon subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss a thing all right we'll talk to you in the next episode